Over the longer term, we should be trying to reduce our immigration dependence, not by stopping immigrants, but by making our own homegrown uh, talent much more uh, employable. I think what's interesting is that although a lot of people uh, point to potential structural problems in the UK labour market and economy more widely um, and say that much of this is due to the fact that we have uh, inadequate skills provision and there's a lack of talent. Most of the data don't seem to confirm the, uh, the, 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 that sort of assumption. Um, if you look at the skill shortages, the proportion of employers, even in the boom years that were reporting them, was relatively low. There doesn't seem to be a great deal of evidence that uh, employers are having difficulty in holding on to staff. Uh, and um, estimates of structural unemployment are relatively low. I think one of the issues that um, could help to explain this is that uh, the UK has uh, been making quite a lot of use of immigrant labour over the past decade or so, uh, and that might have um, masked an underlying problem. But on a day-to-day -day basis, it's surprise, surprising to hear employers and people in the HR world complaining about talent problems uh, so frequently in the UK, because the evidence doesn't seem to suggest that there's a really major problem. The degree to which skill per se is uh, a major problem there is debatable. Um, there are sort of issues related to drugs and alcohol problems, um, social dislocation, the fact that people have been living in social housing uh, in areas away from where jobs are being created, which is a sort of mismatch problem but not a skills related one. And of course there's also the uh, big issue of the the way the benefit system operates. If lots of the jobs that are being created aren't paying considerably more than people can get on welfare, then there's a disincentive to move into work. Now, over the longer term, you can solve that problem by making people more skilled so that they can command uh, entry into higher uh, level jobs in the labour market. But in the short run, it's not really addressed by skills policy. It's better addressed through uh, welfare to work type reforms. I think um, at the present time, the UK wouldn't be able to operate anywhere as effectively without the migrant workers that we have. So I think putting a crude limit on the number of people coming into the country to work could be a mistake. However, that shouldn't in itself be an excuse for not doing things to improve the employability of people already in the UK and uh, over the longer term we should be trying to reduce our immigration dependence not by stopping immigrants but by making our own homegrown uh, talent much more uh, employable.